I choose a car, you know, I, obviously I want something that's practical. Practicality and also performance, like the handling is so smooth. For example, like if I go balik kampung, you know, it's like the, a winding road. It feels easy to handle. And I think looks, I'm a lady driver, so I want something that looks good. Like if I arrive somewhere, I want something that represents me as you know. driving a sedan. That was my first car actually and uh, it served me well. But after that, you know, once I got used to driving in, in KL, in, in Malaysia, I wanted to go for something more like bigger and stylish. You know, and I was already like working as a, a singer and I needed like more space so I went for the compact SUV. The craziest one would have to be transporting all these plants from my house. Yeah, and then we would open up the seed, put it backwards, and put all of these plants. It's so cute. We went to like a plant nursery, and we bought this like really huge plant for our house, and we got two of them. So that's like the craziest thing I've ever done. I would listen to music, you know, like I love music, or maybe this is what I do. I would download some songs in a, karaoke version without the vocals and I would sing the song myself. They would have to be my friends, you know, like um, I've done long drives before, like I, I go on tours all the time, so my bandmates, you know, they're great to hang out with, but I think it would be like one of my best friends, her name is Dee Dee, so if I were to like drive somewhere, I would probably have her. Uh, we've driven a lot, like together in the States. If I get sleepy, she would be driving and she would keep me, always keep me entertained. She always have great music to listen to. She knows like a lot of really cool uh, musicians and yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of singing in the car as well. A lot of singing in the car, yeah. We would sing like Spice Girls or Backstreet Boys or like pop music from the 90s, so yeah. <laughs>